Uh, well, that's a very controversial question. Um, the, remember from a slide that we looked at the follicular and the luteal phase, the progesterone comes from the luteal, uh, the corpus luteum. And so the corpus luteum typically has a fixed lifespan of about 13 to 14 days. And that's genetically programmed. If your luteal phase is shorter, it can be genetic, or it can be something specific to that month, or it could be something that has to do with uh, the mechanism that secretes progesterone within the cell. Typically, progesterone um, is, uh, you know, it's not, but it's derived from cholesterol. So, and there's a specific process how progesterone is made, but it's under, um, it's under guidance from hormones that come from the pituitary. So there could be an issue at the pituitary receptor, there could be an issue at the ovarian receptor, there could be an issue in the mechanism that produces progesterone. So the answer is it's probably no nothing wrong with your eggs, it probably has to do with the mechanism and the machinery in the corpus luteum that, that is responsible for your luteal phase. Um, so I think if somebody answers this question, uh, they'll win the Nobel Prize, uh, but it certainly would not be unreasonable if your, if your luteal phase is less than 13 days, it would not be unreasonable to supplement with progesterone. And then Amy, I know you're very involved in this, um, and then you, you may have some additional information or additional input. I would love to hear what you have to say to answer this question. Yeah, I mean, my, my understanding from the literature and everything is you know, your egg is, if you think about like a chicken egg, right? You have what becomes the embryo, the actual egg itself, and then you have the support structure, that the, um, the egg and, um, you know, the follicle, so to speak. And it's not a problem with the actual egg that turns into the embryo, but more of a follicle problem. Um, and so just because you have a short luteal phase doesn't mean you have bad eggs. It means you might not be able to support a pregnancy because you're not producing enough progesterone, and there comes in the, you know, the progesterone support after ovulation, um, which has shown to increase live birth rates 20 to 30%. So it's very, very effective. And if it was a bad egg, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Um, the best test for eggs, for the quality of the eggs that we currently have in our armamentarium is the AMH test, uh, but also, like how your ovaries respond to fertility medicine. So for example, if your ovaries respond very robustly, we do know that your ovarian reserve is pretty good. Um, so the, yeah, I completely agree with Amy.